right uh, hey guys and good evening one and all and welcome to the video in this video i will be teaching you about selenium grid and selenium hub how you can use together with a docker container so you can spin up several instances of your selenium node or a chrome node and use their i use the hub's ip address and do the scraping like a charm so what i mean by that let's see uh, everything let's uh, set up our selenium grid first of all so um, I'm, I'm here what i'm gonna do is first of all i need to create a docker compose file so let me actually copy that uh, so i'm in the selenium grid project uh, new i'm gonna click on file docker compose.yaml okay we have the yaml file which is pretty good now let's start start writing some code here okay so first of all we'll say uh, we'll define the version of docker uh, i'm saying that hey uh, let's use the version 3.7 okay uh now what i want to do is basically i want to define my selenium node so let's define that so i'm saying a hub this is going to be a master hub which is going to listen to all the worker nodes so the image is going to be selenium hub container name automation hub i'm just giving a container name the i'm like exposing port 444 444 right and now what i want to do is i want to have a worker node right so what i would do I have a worker node now okay so that's the worker node one and similarly i would have uh, uh, two more or uh, three more worker nodes so total i would have four nodes okay that's the selenium nodes and they all depend on a hub okay so i'm using docker compose to spin up instances as you can see worker two so now let me uh, collapse all of these and just show you how it looks like so as you can see i have worker one worker two worker three worker four and that's the hub that is gonna drive the all the worker nodes okay so let's see how everything spins up uh, it should be pretty easy no nothing important i mean nothing difficult i, I would say so cd what's the project name uh, selenium grid okay uh, let's do dir we have a docker compose file let's see docker compose up like that Bit. so you give the command it would uh, spin up all the instances for you it would spin up a hub which would monitor all the worker uh, selenium nodes it's pretty amazing right i mean with docker compose spin up all the infrastructure within seconds you know you could create multiple instances and stuff like that so uh let me show you what i mean by that okay so i want to open chrome now uh, that's my chrome now you want to head over to the ip address of uh, 444 i guess that's the one so if you go to the 444, uh, it would give you a dashboard uh, if everything has started correctly. Uh, hopefully, I think it's still starting. So here you can see Selenium uh, grid view. So it allows you to monitor your multiple, uh, what do you call that, multiple worker nodes. So you can see I have four, four worker nodes, right, uh, which has been configured. Uh, other things what you could do, I would show you some scraping also, a very simple one, but to, you know, kind of understand the concept. So another thing I guess uh, was something called a status. I guess you could also see whether the nodes are healthy or yeah, hub status. So you could run that command, you return the JSON, says true, so you can scrape websites here. Um, let's take a very simple website. You know, I'm, I'm doing very simple. I'm just showing you the project, how everything you can build up the infrastructure, right? So, you know, let's say, um, Jokes. Let's just jokes. I want to scrape some jokes. You want to scrape jokes basically every like whatever, like every night. You want to send this to some users. You want to, you know, update people about it. So, you know, it's easy, guys. It's a piece of cake. Um, so, all you got to do is copy the code. Uh, we have jokes here, of course. So, you know, uh, now if you want to write some Selenium scripts, I would, as I said, everything is in the description. Don't worry about anything. Code is there. So, focus on learning with me. Selenium scripts. Uh, let's use this script I have here. So if you see, I do not need this this line right here. I mean, since I'm doing that, there are two options. Basically, headless. Headless means that do not run the Chrome in the background. So now, since we are using a Docker container, right? Uh, let me comment out this one. So now, see uh, what I'm saying is now this Chrome is running in a Docker container. So all I have to do, guys, it's so amazing. Uh, I would literally actually copy the IP address of this one, I guess. I guess that was how it, it was there, I guess, uh, hub. Just want to make sure, double check with on my uh, code file, on my master code. I, I guess I have it. So I was trying something with uh, Airflow as well. Let me just make sure the IP address. Okay, it's W. That's how you have to define it. Okay, perfect. No worries. It's fine. 
So now, um, okay, so you would use hub and instead of hub, I would say local, uh, oops, oops, L-O-C, local quotes. Okay, and uh, let's put that in the quotes. Okay, so that's pretty much it, right? Uh, oopsie, sorry for that. So you have that in the quotes. Now what you're saying is, hey, I want to use a Selenium driver which is there on a remote server. I'm giving you the IP address. Right now it's a local host. So uh, since we have four instances, it would do all the load balancing, it would route the traffic, blah, 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 for you automatically. Let's go grab the HTML for this website. So I'm gonna grab the HTML for this website right here. You know, very easy, Selenium. Okay, driver.get URL. Um, and we're just printing, printing the HTML um, content of um, that. So nothing fancy, as I said, you know, so let's see if this works in, in, in theory. So we have these four worker nodes, which are wor uh, working for us. So, uh, okay, which file are we in? Uh, I guess Selenium scripts, I guess, yeah. Uh, sorry, CD Selenium scripts. Oh, not in grid, buddy. CD Selenium scripts. Okay, so now I would show you uh, by running. Remember, I have the worker node is running here. I'm running here now just the script.py, python, get script.py. So it should open up the Chrome uh, driver web there execute. Uh, Chrome path is not defined. Okay, one sec, I know what's going on. I should have commented out this one right here. I don't need options for now. Sorry for that. Uh, we can pass that later on, it's fine. So let's, tr let's see if it works. So now what's happening is it's opening the Chrome on the Docker container. Uh, from all the four instances, it would take one of the instances. And at the same time, if, let's say if a second request came in, right? What it would do is it would route the traffic to the second grid. So it, it would take care. So you, you wanna make sure you have minimum like worker nodes uh, available. So it's still running, let's wait. Uh, you can also come here and check if it's, everything is okay on the grid. Looks like it's okay. I'm gonna refresh this. Uh, still true, so it should be good. Not sure if I ha if I screwed up something here or not, but I mean it's a very simple code. We are all we are doing is just connecting to the Docker container here. So uh, wait, there is something. Is everything okay? Localhost 444 WD Hub. I guess I mean oh yeah, now we have it. So we have the scrape data from um, that website. So you can see, it took a little while. I was like, ah, I was like, it, it, it took a while, it's fine. So this is how you could, uh, you know, run uh, Selenium web, like Selenium uh, web, whatever you wanna call on a Docker container. Uh, let's just stop this, otherwise it's gonna be like printing forever. It's a huge uh, HTML, so. So I'm gonna stop this, cancel this out. So yeah, so you could easily connect uh, to a Docker, you could easily connect to the Selenium, um, which is running on a remote server. Just you use the IP address, the port number, WD Hub, and you know, you, you can start your scraping project here, or you can start scraping things out. So as you can see, it's pretty powerful. Uh, use Docker container, use uh, how many of our nodes you want. You can do load balancing. You can set up a swarm mode on this. Uh, so that means uh, if you have a swarm mode, you, you would have, um, you know, you could scale up, you could, ha you, have, you could have replicas for this. So yeah, that is how you do, uh, you know, uh, Docker Compose, Selenium, Selenium Hub, using with Python, um, yeah. So as, as usual, as I said, the entire Docker Compose is there in the description section below. The code for the basic scraper is also there in the description, so kindly check it out and use it in your project. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Keep smiling, keep coding, and goodbye.